Alright, the developers of Roblox Doors is just about to drop the next trailer, the teaser trailer, for the next big update. In this video, I'm going to react to the teaser trailer and also break it down to try and figure out all the little tiny things that are in the video. Doors Floor 2, as you can see here, is going to be based around the mines. A lot of cave-ins going on, like Minecraft. Interesting direction to go when the first floor is a hotel. I can't wait, it's going to be so cool. Before it starts, I just want to say, if you do enjoy, please do subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I'm planning on doing a whole bunch of Doors content trying to cover every inch of the game so if you do enjoy that sort of stuff uh subscribe oh, by the way i'm at my man's house this isn't my normal setup <laughs> all right 10 9 8 7 let's see what we got yo if folk what is this oh okay oh this looks really cool what's that in the hotbar that looks like a battery pack this looks really cool why do... why are there mine cards so this is gameplay footage it's <laughs> Just kill someone. Oh, is that it? Oh, no way. Is that actually it? Right, so this is a 41 second video. Basically, right here is L Splash saying if Crewcraft gets hit one of their games to a thousand players, he'll leak some crazy door stuff. And which he did. So we got some wires there. That's just stuff you can't pick up. We have some stuff like that, like just some random debris in the in the drawers. Look at the doors. Wait, what does that door say? Oh, what does that door say? That door says. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, wait, what? What is he wearing? He's wearing a flashlight of some sort. Oh, a wearable flashlight. That's cool. I'm gonna guess that you can buy that at either a starting shop or just somewhere in the mines. It'll be nice to know how far we are in the mines. I'm just gonna actually try and see if I can dissect this door real quick. Because that's a 106. That's door 100, isn't it? Yeah, that says door 100. Sorry, my face cam might be covering some of this up, by the way. I, I do apologize if it is. And then I don't know what they're doing right here. Pushing a minecart. I'm assuming you might be able to go in the minecarts, but I don't know what the minecarts are used for. So those lockers, I'm assuming you can get items in. The minecart respawns. And three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> That's just gonna That is just gonna allow some real funny moments. This is very cool. Already this looks really good. This is I think at the start it said something along the lines of yeah, everything shown is subject to change. Which is just, which is something to know. So as you can see right there, over there, you can see the icon there that shows up when you want to hide in a closet. And the closets, nothing really changed about them, but they just have a different look to fit with the environment that they're in. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see if they keep some monsters from the hotel, like figure, screech, those sorts of monsters. I think a monster that we should all be wary about is the minecart. Now I do want to just take a second here to talk about what my man here has actually got in his inventory. That looks to me like a pack of batteries. I think it even says so on the actual icon down below. It looks like it's got a limited amount of uses and my guess is sort of a backup ammo for your flashlight or anything that uses batteries in the game. So once the flashlight runs out it gives it either it might just give an extra lock of power to the flashlight or it just instantly refills up the flashlight. I don't know. There's only one minecart here. So the minecart does respawn when it falls off the edge of the cliff right here. And yeah. Oh, and then you can see there's a flash there and as well as a sound. Yep, there's a blue flash and the cart has respawned. Once again, you have the lockers that you can pick up stuff from. Oh, a closet there with what? What is that? What is that? What is this? Look, there's some red puffy smoke coming out. Oh, what is that? There's there's two eyes inside of this locker. Let me know what you guys think of what that is down in the comments down below. It's got two red eyes. That could be the... Uh, is that... That's not the look man or whatever his name is. I forgot his name already. The looker man. The guy in the back doors. There's some red smoke coming out of this locker. I'm guessing that you should not open that locker. If you open that locker, you're going to get like all that poisonous red gas. I'm assuming it's poisonous. But that red gas is going to engulf you and you're just going to instantly die or something. And that guy's just breathing it out of these like little holes here. That is pretty cool. There's like a light there and there. And you can still sort of see... Yeah, there's something in there for sure. I'll zoom it in for the video, but there's like th there's like more eyes. And you can still see a tiny bit of the red smoke right there. That's, ooh, that's creepy. Got the minecart that you can push. <laughs> it just dies. <laughs> that's gonna be so funny. But there were already tons, and I mean tons, of funny Roblox doors moments in just like the hotel level when it first came out. So this is going to be basically like an insane version of that. It's going to be another one of those painting room situations where there's going to be one person who's always going to push the, the minecart. Or in this current situation, there's always going to be one person who's going to keep the painting to themselves. But I don't think there's anything else to... S I don't... I haven't seen anything else. But this is very interesting. I'm very interested in whatever creature is inside of that lockup. Oh, you can only see it for a split second. You could actually only see it for a split second. I don't know if anybody else pick up on this but i don't know what that is and yeah let me know what you think of this creature down in the comments down below see ya